took our clothes, they took our phones, they took everything we got. I don't know what the hell's gonna happen. The four of us have been on a vacation before. About 12 years ago now, the same group of guys went out to Montana. My name is Michael Freck. I'm Brad Tuttle. Jim Santoro. Keith Moynihan. Megan is always like, you know how you get when you know you're not around me, so please just <laughs> And I said, how do I get when I'm not around you? You know what I'm talking about. Here. Everybody's married, lives in different locations now, and we're gonna be able to get back together, and this is awesome. The Explorer kind of fits the lifestyle. You pack it up with stuff and, and head out, do your activities, and it fits the go-do adventure. The interesting part of the whole trip is we don't know what the hell's going on. Is this like where we're gonna be in the middle of the night? This is kind of creepy back here. Gentlemen! Get over here. How are you? I'm Byron. Nice to meet you. Y'all know what you're in for? No. 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 <laughs> no. Come on. Beautiful Louisiana swamp here. Oh, that's where we're out in the bayou. It. I think we're going to be heading out that way. You know, know what you're going to do out there tonight? Going to spend the night? Yeah. Survive, I'm here to help you with your adventure today. Holy bejesus. Right. Byron, we're I don't have the right shoes. <laughs> <laughs> On three, oh, ready? Man. One, two, three. Hoorah! Now we're ready, guys. <laughs> now, my concern is primarily the dangers of the swamp, of the insects, the mosquitoes, the spiders, the wasp nests, and then, of course, the alligators. Let's do this, man. I'm ready. Hold that right there. I am team leader. Are we going to be like Delta Team Alpha Force? Are we supposed to follow you, or are we staying right here, and if you yell and scream, we go the other way? Well, I might as well just come on in and have fun. Let's do it. <laughs> Who ya? Here, let me pull up the spot, team. I think, if anything, I can convey to people that are with me out in the wilderness is always being prepared to help others at all times. And if you look at it in that manner, that is wilderness survival and having the skills and the knowledge and understanding what to do when. So right now we have some decisions okay. to make. And in wilderness survival, your brain is your best survival tool. Okay, we kicked into action. Keith and Mike took over building our shelter for the night. Jimmy and I took over gathering firewood. We gathered tons of wood. We're gonna go look for, ideally, maybe a fork. And then come under this one. I think, Byron, we should have went two stories on this, you know? <laughs> we're hoping to get the fire going before it gets dark. You got a game plan? Yeah, we're gonna light this stuff on fire and then pile crap on it and watch it burn, baby, burn. All right, great, great, great. That's cool. Guys, how's the fire doing? We're getting there. Someone's got a good base. It's really nice. Oh, oh you son of a bitch. <laughs> I don't think I like his way of teaching us. This is a cotton ball. Vaseline. Just swipe it through. Now, torch it. What you're going to see now is it burns a lot longer. Oh, Four knuckleheads running around throwing dry leaves on. Hey, we got the fire started. <laughs> Thanks, Byron. I really feel bad about pouring water on your no, heart. No, you don't. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna break in your heart, I'm yeah, sure. Oh, come on. All right. Guys, <laughs> Thanks, I'm out of here. What's up? This is totally Blair Witch right now with this light. <laughs> Fire's still going. Because it's good. Because it's cold. <laughs> What time is it? It's 6.40. Oh, nice. The light just starting to creep over the horizon. So mm -hmm. there's light at the end of the tunnel. It gets pretty cold. We kept the fire going the whole night. <laughs> it was a little yeah. bit nippy out here. There's some spooning. I'm not going to say between who. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going down. To be able to totally decompress and not have a phone and just focus on having fun and, and doing something cool like this is a much needed mental break. 
to survive it. <laughs> good job, good job. It was awesome to recreate the uh, you know road trip with all four guys, and now we got a little more memories. You guys, uh, you up for some coffee or some food? Because I'm starving.